Hi, and welcome to the Caterpillar Cross Stitch YouTube channel. My name is Ford from Son of a Stitch, and this week I'm going to be talking to you about a topic that I don't think gets enough attention in cross stitching communities, and that is lighting. Here at Caterpillar Cross Stitch, we're all about cross stitch, and we upload helpful videos every single week, so I highly recommend that you subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a like and leave me a comment down below so that I know I should make more content like it. Now, you may not know this about me, or maybe you did based on the way I shoot my videos, but in a previous life, I was a photographer. I managed a professional camera shop and we ran a professional photo lab. And one of the things that I learned in that career that I brought forward into all of my subsequent ventures is the importance of quality light. Now, when people ask me about why light's so important, the thing that I like to bring up is the dress. Do you remember the dress? Back in 2015, everybody's arguing, oh no, it's black and blue, oh no, it's white and gold. And the reason that controversy happened is because most people don't understand the way our brains process light. And the color of the light can make a really big difference in how we see something. And our eyes are always trying to make an adjustment for different colors of light, and our camera is always trying to make an adjustment. So some people were assuming the camera was adjusting the light, and some people weren't. And that was why everyone was so confused. But how we actually see things matters very much depending on the color of the light that we see. Let me show you a little demonstration of that. Okay, so what we're looking at here is my DMC Floss color card. I really like this thing because it has actual samples of every color of floss that DMC makes, which makes it really great for picking colors and comparing things to be able to get the right color for your project. I'll drop a link to where you can get one in the video description. But what I really want to show you is what happens when I change the color of light that is on it. My workbench light lets me change it from daylight to the color of light that most home lights use. Let me show you. So when I change the color of light that's being used, the camera tries to adjust for it and make everything look natural. But what happens is that the contrast between certain colors changes, especially in the blues. And if I were showing you the yellows, you'd see the opposite change in the yellows. But colors that are really easy to distinguish when we're using daylight, and I'll switch back, like 3843 and 995, when we've got it set to the tungsten light, they become almost indistinguishable. So the color of light really affects the contrast between the colors, which can make picking colors difficult. And don't forget to join the Caterpillar Cross Stitch VIP Stitch Club. You'll get 10% off your first order, you'll get an ebook with eight free cross stitch patterns, and you'll get a digital download of our top 10 stitching tips. So hit the link in the description to get all of those great goodies. Now, if you look in a book about cross stitching, like one of those uh, old Better Homes and Gardens guides or something, the extent of information it's going to give you is make sure you stitch in a well-lit area and natural lighting is best. But I don't know about you, but natural lighting is not always an option for me. I do a lot of my stitching late at night after the rest of the family goes to bed. So I need to have good artificial lighting that can be a little easier on my eyes and allow me to see what I'm actually doing. Now, it would be remiss of me to talk about craft lighting without mentioning ot lights. Ot lights are kind of the gold standard of craft lights. They have a really nice, gentle light that is also... Uh, color accurate, so you'll be able to see really well what's going on. I'm going to drop a link to one of those in the description of a recommended one of those. They make floor lamps and table lamps, and they're just really kind of the best. But not everybody has a hundred bucks to drop on a lamp just for stitching. So let's go over some kind of more budget-friendly options. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, you've probably seen this. Uh, my bunny rabbit chewed some of the coating off of it, but it doesn't affect its performance. This is a little book light that I bought. I'm going to leave a link to this as well. Uh, it has different colors of light, so I can make it match the circumstances that I need it to, depending on the environment. And it has a larger light source. And one of the things I learned in photography is that the larger the source of the light, the more soft and gentle that light is going to be. So that's why the ot lights are so great, is because the light source is bigger than just a light bulb. 
Now you probably learn a lot from our YouTube channel, but the place you can really learn a lot about cross stitching as well as get excellent ideas for projects and advice is to join the Caterpillar cross stitch community. We have a really great Facebook group and there's a really great community around the Caterpillar cross stitch Instagram. So make sure you join those as well so that you can get the most out of this community. Another great option that a lot of people use when they need artificial lighting is a headlamp. A headlamp works really well because it puts the light right where you need it. Um, the one thing that I would suggest if you're looking for a headlamp to cross stitch with is one that has a large emitter, not just one bright point of light right in the middle, either a larger emitter all around or a whole band of LEDs that goes across the whole headband of the headlamp. That'll give you a softer, more diffused light without harsh shadows and it won't be quite so hard on your eyes. Now I promised you a really budget-friendly recommendation to improve your lighting situation at home. And this is one of the areas where recent technological advancements have made things so much easier. When I was running a camera shop, if you wanted to get a light bulb that was in a good, pure, daylight color, it would probably cost you about $100. But now, you can go down to anywhere that sells light bulbs, and you can just look for a light bulb that is labeled 5000K. 5000K or 5000 Kelvin is the temperature of light that matches daylight. Usually when you buy a light bulb for your house, it's going to be about 2700K. That results in a much warmer color of light, a very yellowy, orangey light. And that's what we're used to for indoor lighting. But you want something that's about 5000K because that is a cooler or whiter color of light. And so you will see things much more accurately that way. So just when you're looking for a light bulb to replace the lamp that you already like right next to your stitching chair, just look for one that's labeled daylight or 5000K, and it will make a really big difference in how well you can see your project that you're working on. Now, I'm kind of a geek on this topic and I could talk about it for hours and hours, but I don't really want to bore you with all that information. So those few tips will be enough to get you started. Make sure that you like and subscribe, and again, leave me a comment if you want to know more about these kinds of things in the future. For Caterpillar Cross Stitch, my name is Ford, and I'll see you next time.